well, Heart Radio. Anyway, I'm back on the Heart Radio's website, and one news story struck out to me today. They were saying about how you could win the brand new iPhone 10. But how many iPhones do we actually need? You know, iPhone 1, iPhone 2, iPhone 3, iPhone 4, all very similar to each other. iPhone 10. Just seems a bit crazy to me. Let's look at it. I have to say that the name iPhone X instead of iPhone 10 is interesting. iPhone X. The iPhone X. Is it the final one or what? Our vision has always been to create an iPhone that is entirely screen. One so immersive, the device itself disappears into the experience. And so intelligent, it can respond to attack your voice and even a glance. With iPhone X, that vision is now reality. Say hello to the future. Say hello to the complete mind control. And wow, let's read that again and take in the gravity of what that means. Our vision has always been to create an iPhone that is entirely screen. One so immersive, the device itself disappears into the experience. And so intelligent, it can respond to attack your voice and even the class. With iPhone X, that vision is now a reality. Say hello to the future. How is that in any way good? So you're telling me this thing's gonna be listened to every word I say and respond in and it has the most advanced AI ever to be beheld in the palm of your hand. We already know that Windows Cortana basically records everything you say and flags anything and says it says it straight to Microsoft. That's already public knowledge. A friend of mine, or my my, my sister's boyfriend. As soon as I got Windows 10, he deactivated Cortana. They kept trying to reactivate. Pop a pain in the backside to actually get it to turn off. Very, very creepy. Basically, Cortana records everything you say and everything you do and catalogs it and sends it to Microsoft. This is public knowledge. It's in the print. It's in the small print. It's in the, uh, you know. Uh, so immersive that the phone say our vision has always been to create an iPhone that has entirely screen one so immersive the device itself disappears into the experience a bit like the size of this image here look at the size of this I'm fading into this flipping image right here it's only part of it so immersive Freaking, I've never really been a freaking believable. I've never been a big fan of the iPhone. I've got an iPhone. It was an original one, and I've dropped it. It would have been worth a lot of money. It was like uh, the original iPhone, uh, spotless, immaculate, and I dropped the lucky thing and ruined it. With iPhone X, this device is the display. An all new 5.8 inch super retina screen fills the hand and dazzles the eyes and gives you migraines. Wow, the iPhone X. Could this be the final iPhone? The display, the display deploys, sorry, the display employs new technologies and technologically to, oh, wow, sorry. The display employs new techniques and technology to precisely follow the curves of the design all the way to the elegantly rounded corners. Really? What a masterful thing. Wow. Glory at man's creation. Glory at it. Like gods you shall be, said Satan. The first OLED screen that rises to the standards of iPhone with accurate stunning colours, true blacks, high brightness and 1 million to 1 contrast ratio. Wow. Eat of the fruit and you should be like gods. Go on, take a bite of the fruit of good and evil and you should be like gods and create like God can. Go 
It's okay, I'm Satan, you can trust me. I'll tell you how to create all these things. You'll die, of course, it'll be your ancestors that do it, but I won't, I'll leave that little, little nit bit, uh, little tip bit out of the eat the forbidden fruit for you. A tiny spice, uh, sorry, a tiny space houses some of the most sophisticated technology we've ever developed, including the cameras and sensors that enable Face ID. Basically, this thing has uh, AI, most intelligent AI. Uh, it's the startings of what they need to put inside those android robots, which is an interesting name for the rival of this company, Android. That's because it's because you know, that technology on the screen right there is exactly what it's for. It's to create a humanoid, well, a electronic computer replacement for the human brain and human itself is the goal of all this technology. The most durable glass ever, an iPhone front and back. Surgical grade stainless steel, wireless charging. <coughs> Water and dust resistance. Water and dust resistance is the least of my worries with this phone. <coughs> oh, excuse me. People are never happy and they always want more. More technology, more, 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 more. Familiar gestures make a navigation natural and intuitive. Instead of pressing a button, a single swipe takes you home from anywhere. Ooh. Why we want why do we want our fight a phone to know what we look like? Unfreaking believable. I'm saying freaking, not effing. The F word. Um, freaking believable. A revolution in recognition. So, basically, the AI can now look at you and tell who you are and stuff like that. Wow, it's getting more disturbing as we read on. Your face is now your password. What the f? Eep. <laughs> really? Your face is now your password. Uh, face ID is a secure new way to unlock. Phone. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. Please leave it in the comments if you're finding this pretty shocking. Because I am. Just really disturbing. Terminator right there. What's we'll stopping there? They're putting this technology into a autonomous robot. Okay, with a gun mounted to it and just go bang, 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 bang. Recognize some people, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Dead, dead, dead. Like the Terminator. I mean, how close are we to actually? I know certain Trooper Channel, beginning with R, goes on about Terminator this, Terminator that, and it's going to happen or whatever. But when you see technology like this, it's really easy. I could probably make a machine do that. Mount a gun, get a, like a, maybe like a, um, an old person's kind of mobility scooter. <coughs> yeah, set it up to a basically a dr to drive around with some sensors, put a gun on there, <coughs> excuse me, and then have the facial recognition just go scan around and then fire, 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 fire. Use the same function that uses the camera take picture action and change that to actually work the trigger on the gun. Bang, 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 bang. Just shoot everybody that comes near it. You know, they could do that right now. <coughs> so if they have that technology now, and I can see how it could work and function on a Terminator machine, I bet you they've already got it. Way, way, way more advanced and ready to go, if need be. This is, this is shocking stuff, people. Face ID is enabled by the True Depth camera and is simple to set up. Projects and Projects more than 30,000 invisible dots to create a precise depth and map of your face. Basically works like the Kinex on the PlayStation. Wow, so that quick. So within five years, the technology of the Kinex is now inside a phone, which takes up probably like a fifth or a tenth at, mo at most of the space of this, of this phone. Incredible. It is incredible and very dangerous in the wrong hands. 
shocking. Leave your comments in the comment section. What do you think about this uh, new iPhone X? I think it's pretty shocking. Very disturbing technology right now. Like, comment, subscribe. <coughs>